Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Kanai Janae, and I'm back with another video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone. And welcome back to Vlogmas today. I'm gonna put it right here because I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah. Welcome back. I'm so excited to have you guys. If you're new, then welcome to the family. If you're not new, then welcome back. You know what the going on. But anyway, I'm about to do what's on my iPhone. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max in like the black color. It's like black men. I don't know. It's the black one. Um, and then I have this case on it from Walmart for like it was like five dollars. But yeah with that being said let's hop right into the video i don't have no aesthetic um setup or nothing i'm just going to show you guys the apps that i use as a content creator and entrepreneur that help me throughout my day-to-day -day. um and it's going to be some money game here how to get some money free from your phone or how to make money from your phone not necessarily free but how to make money from your phone um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys what is on mine so oh i also got an apple watch to match it's the se i believe so i'm gonna put the screen like over here on this side let me scroll over a little bit <clears throat> um okay so as you guys see this is my home page it is sunday december 11th it is 39 degrees outside that's why i got on this coat and it's 11 52 a.m when i'm filming this video oops it's not my screen recording so yeah my first page is always blank always 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 i always keep it why am i showing y'all y'all gonna see it on the screen i always keep it blank and then you go over it and this is a bunch of random stuff and we gonna do a clean out of my phone because some of this stuff I don't even need or use anymore. But for starters, I have the Holy Bible. Um, that's self-explanatory. I do the verse of the day every single day. I do my devotional every single day. Read scriptures. When I go to service and church and stuff, I use my Bible. And then we got Meditrator 4, which is actually... It keep logging me out of my account. Well, y'all can't see. But that's trading um, in the foreign exchange market and stocks, stuff like that. That's the way to make money from your phone. If you guys are interested in that or if you guys want more information, I don't work with a team. It's just me. So if y'all want to do a one-on-one -on -one chat type situation, got my phone on Andy, then I'm more than happy to help you. Um, and then I have Zoom. I literally live on this app. I get on Zoom every single day, multiple times a day with different clients, with business partners, lender all type of stuff so constantly on there and then i have the apartments app i use the apartments app to obviously look for places um i'm months my my lease right now is month to month so i'm looking to move eventually sometime soon so that's why apartments is there and then i have alibaba um i don't use alibaba personally but i use it for my clients um who are getting into drop shipping which is another way to make money um i'm gonna forever put y'all on don't say i didn't warn you if y'all want to talk business hit my DMs and I'll for sure help you with whatever business venture you're trying to go on. Anyway, Alibaba is where they can get vendors and where they can find merchandise for cheap. So I keep it on here so that I can help them when they're searching. And then I have the Chipotle app and why is it not loading? Okay, well, it don't wanna load, but I have the Chipotle app because I always get my points there whenever i go to a new place and this is a money saving tip whenever you go to a new place make sure you get your points okay you better download the app because usually they'll give you something for free or a discount and then every time you go there just get points and eventually they'll rack up before you know it and then i have the amazon seller amazon barco app i don't know why my apps keep well i do know why it's because i don't got no storage but i use that for my amazon not storefront because the storefront is what y'all get and then the influencers get commission this is my Amazon store where I actually sell stuff. So if y'all want more information on that, let me know. And I'll be sure to do a video. I'm going to do a video on whatever business tips y'all want. Just comment it down below or DM me and say you want it and I'm going to do it. Um, and then the barcode is just to scan certain stuff. Like if I go to, for example, a while back during the summer. Let me stop the screen recording and tell y'all a mini story time. A while back during the summer, um these extension cords were at the dollar store for a dollar 25 they were selling on amazon for 9.99 so i went to the dollar store and i bought every single extension cord they had and i think i spent like a hundred dollars in there and then i made 10 times that damn near on amazon so with that being said 
become an Amazon seller. <clears throat> Let me start my screen recording again. Okay, cool. Then next I have Sweetwater Coffee and Duncan. Those are both coffee places. Y'all know I'm a coffee girl. I love my coffee. Can't live without my coffee. And if I'm gonna get rewards and free coffee, then I'm gonna for sure have your app. We're gonna have the app Sophie. I was gonna open it, but I'm not going to because um, that got a lot of my personal information, but that's an investment app where you can invest money. Um, so whenever I like go out to eat, I'll round up. The, so like, let's say I spend twelve fifty, it'll round it up to thirteen dollars, and the fifty cent will go into my investment app, and it'll just naturally start to build that interest for me. So I don't have to. Just another way to make quick money, or not quick money, but just another way to let your money grow. And then I have Capital One because that's where my credit card is, and that's where I check my credit score and you know all that good stuff like that so yeah i got uber eats i don't really use uber eats actually i actually hate uber eats but i have it and i also have postmates um and i don't use it but i had it because what were we trying to get we were trying to get hibachi like a week ago when we were sick and only uber eats had it so i downloaded it um next i have quickbooks self-employed and time those are all entrepreneur apps i use that to track how much money i'm making per month to track how much time i spend on certain projects um how much time i'm working throughout the day that type of stuff um and i do all my tax write-offs via quickbooks so yeah if y'all want to know more about that again let me know um then i have linktree because i have a linktree in my personal bio my like my instagram bio and my business bio on Instagram and TikTok um, to keep all my links in one place because y'all know I have an actual website where I sell ebooks. I'm putting that on the screen too, somewhere. But I have a website where I sell ebooks, but I also have booking services. So I need two separate like sites. Well, I don't need, but I won't. Anyway, and then I have LastPass, and that's where you can share passwords with people without them getting your real password. So like, if I wanted to give y'all my Instagram password, but I didn't want to give you the actual password, we make up like a fake password and it works. Yeah, kind of cool. Then you go slide over. This is where I attempted to organize, but it didn't really work. So my first folder is business. I have Notion, which if y'all don't know what Notion is, it's like a online planner. I don't really use it, but I bought Michaela's um, Notion template to start using it. It's it's a work in progress. I don't even know if I'm logged in. Oh yeah, I am. Oh, that's a revenue tracker that definitely has my money. <laughs> Not gonna show you that. <coughs> and then job form, that's where all of my clients, I will open it, but it's people information on it. Um, but that's where all of my clients submit to me their names, emails, phone numbers, website passwords, that type of stuff, um, and tell me what they're looking for so I can provide the service. And then I have Stripe, and that's a payment provider, so I connect that to my booking site so that you can pay me um, a deposit of some sort. So keep that in mind. Um, and then I have Watch, which is just my watch app. I have Dropbox, and I literally only have this app so that uh, well i'm about to start using it for my video editing services but i literally only have this app because i have miss naya nicole's editing course and i don't want to lose it so i keep that then i have fitness i have i'm not even gonna open it because that's embarrassing i haven't been to the gym in so long but when i do go to the gym all of my stats are tracked via that app and then next i have docs and that's google docs um and i use that when i'm working with clients to keep information all in one place um i just share it with them and then we can both see the same stuff and then i have gumroad and i can't open that because it literally just shows how much money i made this month like that's the first screen or no it shows how much money i made this week and that's the first screen so oh wait today's sunday so i restarted but i got order no yeah i'm not showing you <laughs> and then I have Depop. Um, I used to actually, I can show y'all that. Y'all can follow my Depop. Period. Uh, period. Uh. Why is none of my apps working? Like, why is nothing loading? Is it because I just left AT and T and I have T-Mobile and they spiked my phone so that it won't work no more? Well, it's not loading. But I used to sell like two years ago. I used to sell stuff on Depop, and I actually heard from a friend. Her name is Sydney. Shout out Sydney. Um, that you can like do drop shipping on Depop, so I want to start that. And then the last thing I have is HoneyBook, and it's probably not gonna load because none of my apps are loading. But that's where I um track all my clients, so all the information, color palettes, logo, like everything, just go on that. And then my next one is entertainment. So I have YouTube TV, self-explanatory. I use that to watch basketball games, 
and and football games and stuff like that and y'all will see why later um but i have youtube tv tonight's conversations that's like a podcast um with randy rosario and that other girl i can't think of her name but i love it and i watch it all the time and i subscribe to the app because i like it and i got pandora and netflix i don't even watch netflix on my phone but just in case i have it and then i use pandora when i don't know what i want to listen to then in this next folder i have this app called grow with joe but she was trying to charge me and i don't want to pay for it i'm honestly about to delete it and then i have flow and my love flow just check my period um and my love is my girlfriend and i's like y'all see it on the screen so yeah my next app is travel i have airbnb hopper fly delta which is my delta app i don't know why well i do know why i don't have no storage but it keeps offloading my freaking apps and but luckily i know my login but i have and then i have priceline too to get cheaper flights and then this is what i use youtube tv for i have a fan duel which is like sports betting i'm not gonna log in because all my money all my business all my, my location everything gonna be in there um but yeah sports betting is legal where i am so basically you watch um a game and you say i think this is gonna happen in this game and if it happens you get paid and it's actually really fun um to do and then i have amc theaters let me redo the, the screen recording so this bitch don't turn off on me okay and then i have amc theaters which is just a theater that we go watch movies at and i have like points and stuff on there and we used to go to the movies all the time so kept it tim hortons again y'all know i love my coffee timmy holes oh timmy holes gonna do it every time fonto that's where i put the fonts on my thumbnails sephora honestly i only downloaded it for the black friday thing so let's be honest I'm gonna delete it because I don't wear makeup and I don't shop at Sephora ever. And then I have WhatsApp because that's what I use to communicate with all of my vendors. So then this is a folder of embarrassment. This is where I hide all of my points. So I have Bath and Body Works, self-explanatory points, Subway points. I haven't been there in a very long time though. Qdoba, I go there all the time, points. Fetch, if y'all don't know what Fetch is, you just scan your receipts from places so that you can get money back so these people is driving with a freaking trunk open mm, what is back there it was a bunch of trap they're ghetto anyway i don't know why fetch not loading um but you're just getting your receipts target walmart little caesar cvs starbucks all for points walmart and target i use it to order stuff or to get deals well target i use deals and to order stuff and then to find stuff when i'm in the store so if i don't know where it's at i type that hoe up and it tell me what our number is on then oh, then i have mcdonald's points petco because i have dogs points um and i get delivery for their food amazon self-explanatory doordash self-explanatory i have the t-mobile app so that i can pay my bill every month and t-mobile tuesday so i can get all the free discounts that they have to give me I have Lyft, but I never, ever, 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 ever use it. But I always have it just in case. My Verizon, because that's where my Wi-Fi is through. And Shein, that I've never ordered from before. But I want to. And the last app I have is Taco Bell. And that app honestly sucks. Then this app, everybody got these apps. And they phone, these are my socials. These are how I communicate with people. This is how I talk to y'all. So I have Twitter, which I actually really get on. Snapchat, which I probably... Snapchat, Facebook, FaceTime, YouTube, Pinterest, phone, Instagram, Instagram. Oh, look, her influence popped up. Boom. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing that. Whatever. Anyway. And then I have messages, TikTok, notes, and Telegram, which Telegram is like another WhatsApp. And then this is all of my, like, I put the camera because that's what it is. Canva, I use that for design sometimes. Sometimes I use Adobe. Sometimes I use Canva. I also use it for YouTube Studio. I mean, I also use it uh, for my YouTube thumbnails to make collages. Then I got YouTube Studio, YouTube Tracker. YouTube Studio is all the analytics, all the behind the scenes, how many views I got, how many likes I got, how many comments I got, all that stuff. YouTube Tracker just lets me know when I'm going to be monetized and how far I am. And then we got Sub Count. Why is nothing fudging loading? I think I have 766 subscribers right now. 
And of course, that's not going on either. And then CapCut is what I edit my TikToks on. Smart Things is the remote to my TV, which it might not work because I'm not home. Oh, there you go. See, my girlfriend's watching Peacock right now. Um, but yeah, I use it for the remote. And then Blink, I will show y'all that, but my house look a mess. But Blink is the camera for my living room. And the last folder I have is my money folder and i'm not sure why but i have like google drive but it's not on here for some reason and then i have navy federal and i'm not sure oh yes it is but google drive isn't on there but i have google drive too and i use that to upload all my files um so that i can edit people and people can edit for me then i have shopify that's self-explanatory i got currents which is a online bank that i have um, I have Cash App because who don't have Cash App? A shop is where I track all of my orders um, that I like. When I place an order, I just track it on Shop. So I keep all of my packages in one place. Experian, that's credit. Check my credit, see how my credit is doing. Barnes and Noble, y'all know I'm a bookhead. I love to read. And then Navy Federal is my bank account. I'm not going to open it. Chime is also an online bank. Dasher Direct and Dasher. Um, a while back, I made a video of how to make $100 a day and I was doing DoorDash with it. So that's why those are there. I actually never use that. But I'm not going to delete it because I never, you never know. It may be a slow month and I may need to use it. Um, and then I have Digit where they literally take money out of my bank account every single day and save it. I actually haven't checked that app in so long. It's probably like $35,000 and I'm just playing. It's definitely not that. But it's probably some money in there. I'm going to check. And then I have Self, which is a credit builder. So it builds your credit every month. I report all my bills that I pay every month to self and they report it to my credit to boost my credit. And then I have Upwork, which is where I post my graphics to get more clients. I have Fiverr, which is the same thing. Vero is another online bank. Y'all, I have like 10, 11 different bank accounts. Um, it's a tip. I have most bank accounts, trust me. Credit Karma for more credit and fuel rewards is what I use to... Um, get gas prices for cheaper so yeah that's it for my little iphone it's a lot of hidden gems in here like the quickbooks and all that stuff like that and i can go more in depth and explain how to do certain stuff because y'all i have like whole degrees and this stuff and a bunch of knowledge and stuff so i can definitely help y'all you just have to let me know um but yeah that concludes what's on my iphone 13 pro max i hope you guys enjoy it make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next vlogmas video